Discoveries in the field of astronomy are constantly happening, even if they do not make headline news. New, advanced technologies, as well as past discoveries, have made it possible to observe so much about the universe that we were not able to before. Each day, there is a possibility that astronomers will discover the next big thing that completely alters our previously held beliefs about the universe. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we share three interesting findings. A new signal for a neutron star collision discovered. An, an unlikely event has occurred more than 6 billion light years away from Earth. NASA's Chandra X ray Observatory has discovered a burst of X rays that signals the collision of a neutron star, which could give astronomers clues as to how these neutron packed stellar objects are built. The merger of neutron stars results in jets of high energy particles and radiation firing out in two different directions. When the jets are pointed in the Earth's line of sight, then a flash of gamma rays is detectable. When a jet is not pointed in the Earth's line of sight, astronomers need a different type of signal to pinpoint the merger. One type of signal that can be used to identify the merger is the detection of gravitational waves. Astronomers have now found another type of signal by observing an X-ray's bright flare. They have discovered that two neutron stars most likely merged to form a heavier, fast-spinning neutron star with a strong magnetic field. The signal, called XT2, was observed by Chandra and appeared suddenly and then lingered for about seven hours before fading away. The X-ray image was the deepest X-ray image ever taken, and the signal was located in the Chandra deep field south. The image contains about 12 weeks of Chandra's observing time. These observations have remarkably given astronomers the chance to learn about the inside of neutron stars. They observed that the brightness of the X-ray emission stayed constant for about 30 minutes and then decreased in brightness over almost seven hours before becoming undetectable. This indicates that the neutron star merger produced a new larger star that survived for a few hours before collapsing into a black hole. Bing Zhang of the University of Nevada stated, we can't throw neutron stars together in a lab to see what happens, so we have to wait until the universe does it for us. If two neutron stars can collide and a heavy neutron star survives, then this tells us that their structure is relatively stiff and resilient. This discovery is invaluable because the density of neutron stars is so large that their properties cannot be replicated on Earth. This merger has given astronomers the opportunity to discover and study more about these neutron stars and the larger implications that their formation brings. Neutron star undergoes wild behavior changes. The Chandra X-ray Observatory has been a precious source of technology these last few years. On top of discovering the neutron star merger, Chandra has also captured two images that show large changes in the X-ray brightness of a neutron star that is rapidly rotating. The neutron star in question is a dense remnant of a supernova that remains in the orbit of a low-mass star. The binary star system is a part of the globular cluster M28 and is known as IGR J182452452. This star provides insight into the evolution of neutron stars in binary systems. The neutron star makes a rotation 254 times a second and radio wave pulses have also been observed from this. The current widely accepted model of these objects' evolution is that matter from the companion star is pulled to the surface of the neutron star in an accretion phase by a disk. The rotation rate increases as spinning material from the disk falls onto the neutron star. Over time, the transfer of matter slows and the neutron star's magnetic field sweeps away the remaining material and a millisecond radio pulsar is formed. This evolution of a millisecond pulsar from a low-mass X-ray binary should take place over several billion years. Throughout the course of this evolution, however, the system might quickly switch between the two states. The observations of IGR J182452452 may have provided the first direct evidence for these behavioral changes. Observations from 2002 all the way to 2013 show that there were times when radio pulses disappeared and it behaved like an X-ray binary, 
and at other times, the radio pulses turned back on and it no longer acted like an X-ray binary. Recent observations have also shown that the switch can occur in a shorter than expected time frame, possibly even a few days, which is a powerful indication that there is an evolutionary link between radio millisecond pulsars and X-ray binaries. These observations were from multiple sources besides the Chandra, such as ESA's XMM Newton, NASA's Swift XR, Vesterbork Synthesis Radio Telescope, and more demonstrating that gathering the data needed to get closer to the truth is no easy task. Gravitational waves have let us see huge neutron stars colliding. In 2017, the first ever neutron star collision with gravitational waves was caught by a small telescope. Within hours of the signal from Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory or LIGO detector in Washington, roughly 70 telescopes around the world pointed toward this spot. LIGO spokesperson David Shoemaker noted, I don't think it's out of the question that this is the most observed astronomical event ever. It's a thrilling notion and a little overwhelming. This event brought about many firsts. It was the first time that gravitational waves came from something other than it being black hole binaries. The first time that the formation of heavy elements was witnessed, the first evidence that neutron star merges result in gamma ray bursts, and the first time the universe's expansion was measured using gravitational waves. Pinpointing the gravitational waves with the new Italian Virgo detector was not immediate since it was in its blind spot but it did provide astronomers with a smaller area to search for the location of the event. Nelson Christensen of Carleton College in Minnesota explained, It was like a dart game. We just kept narrowing it down and then we finally got a bullseye with the optical detection. The rare event was seen in wavelengths from radio and gamma rays and across the electromagnetic spectrum. It was the first time that the event was seen in both light and in gravitational waves. Both the light and gravitational waves helped astronomers discover different things about the collision. The gravitational waves helped give them an idea about the inner workings of the crash, while the different wavelengths of light in different images helped them pinpoint a location. Neutron stars are far smaller than black holes, and because of this, they need to be much closer for astronomers to see the ripples created when they merge. The neutron stars were about 10 times closer, at about 130 million light years away, than the next nearest gravitational wave source witnessed. Because LIGO can only observe the size and velocity of the gravitational waves, astronomers needed more information to determine what types of objects created the waves – black holes or neutron stars. However, through observing the wavelengths, they confirmed the objects to be neutron stars because the collision ejected materials from the object's surface. Since black holes do not have a surface, astronomers could tell that the objects were indeed neutron stars. Perhaps even more exciting than witnessing the collision of the neutron stars is what this incredible event says about the scientific era we are in. It's the first time that astronomers have both listened to the vibrations and seen the light of one cosmic collision. We are now in an era where scientists are able to observe the universe with multiple senses at once, increasing the possibility for more exciting discoveries. The discoveries discussed in this video demonstrate how far we have come in the science of astronomy. In just a few decades, we have been able to learn so much about different evolutionary processes in space and what they might mean about our own existence. But what do you make of these latest discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.